हेलो एवरी वन वन अगेन वेलकम टू पी एम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू कन्फिगर एस वी आई ऑन रियल डिवाइस हाउ टू कन्फिगर एस वी आई ऑन रियल डिवाइस एस वी आई एंड एज यू नो एस वी आई स्टैंड फॉर स्विच वर्चुअल इंटरफेस स्विच वर्चुअल interface so today in this video we, you will see how to configure svi on real device but first of all what is svi guys by default communication between two different vlan is not possible right this user user who is sitting in vlan 10 can't communicate with user who is sitting in vlan 20 right so svi is a technique or svi is a method to make communication possible between different vlan we have two method right we have two option to con to make communication possible between different vlan first one is router on a stick and second one is svi so today i am going to configure svi okay and this is my cisco this is my switch cisco 37503 switch right and i don't have pc that's why i am taking four router i will connect four router through this switch and i will run no ip routing command on this router so that this router will act as end user device right this router will act as end user so i will run no ip routing command on all router right and to configure svi we need to create two vlan on switch so i will create two vlans vlan 10 and vlan 20 after that on vlan interface vlan interface is virtual interface you have to configure ip address so on interface vlan 10 i will configure ip 10.1.1.100 okay and this ip address will become default gateway for all the user who is sitting in vlan 10 right in the same way on interface vlan 20 i will configure ip 20.1.1.100 and this ip address will become default gateway for all the user who is sitting in vlan 20 and then i will show you how this user can communicate with this user how user who is sitting in vlan 10 can communicate with the user who is sitting in vlan 20 okay so let's start let me access my device first of all just wait guys okay so here you can see i have access of my switch router 1 router 2 router 3 and router 4 so here i am going to configure svi okay so first of all let me show you interface of this switch so interface brief you can see my port is starting from 1/0/1 to 24 there are 24 fast ethernet port and two giga interface okay and in my topology as you can see over here r1 is connected through 1/0/1 slash slash r2 is connected through 0/2 slash r3 is connected through 0/3 slash and r4 is connected through 1/0/4 slash slash okay so first of all i will down all interface let me down it few port are up as you can see so let me run default interface range fast ethernet 1/0/1 slash slash to 24 shut down okay and i will up from 1/0/1 slash slash to 1/0/4 slash slash this is not 3 last one is 4 okay so exit interface range fast ethernet 1/0/1 slash slash to 4 no shut down let me run no shut down command on this port okay by default all port of switch is up so we need to run shut down command or you can run default interface command okay so cdp never okay now we need to configure r1 let me run r1 is connected through 0/0 slash right so interface fast ethernet 0/0 slash no shut down by default interface of router is down so you have to run no shut down command now you can see cdp neighbor so cdp neighbor it will take some time it's not showing on switch 
if you will check cdp never on switch so cdp never here you can see who is never r1 now in the same way let me configure r2 as well first of all let me show you cdp never of r1 so it it will take some time right after some time you can you can check right never will be switch one so it ip interface right so now we need to configure r2 let me configure ip address on r1 interface f0/0 ip address will be 10.1 10.1.1.1 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
सो गो टू कन्फिगर टर्मिनल मोड इन कन्फिगर टर्मिनल मोड यू विल रन विल एन टेन ओके विल एन वन इज बाई डिफॉल्ट विल एन बाई द वे विल एन टेन आफ्टर दैट विल एन ट्वेंटी ओके नाउ लेट मी पुट रॉटर वन एंड रॉटर टू इन विल एन टेन and router 3 and router 4 in vlan 20 so interface not interface range command will be interface range fast ethernet 1/0/122 switch port v mode access after that switch port access vlan not mode access vlan 10 now these two interface are member of vlan 10 right in the same way interface range f 1/0/3 to 4 right 3 to 4 means router 3 and router 4 which is member of vlan 20 so switch port access switch port access vlan 20 fine you can verify it so vlan brief okay so you can see over here in vlan 10 there are two interface 0/1 and 0/2 in vlan 20 there are two interface 3 and 4 right you can configure name as well right uh, like vlan 10 name is suppose ccna okay and vlan 20 name is suppose ccnp so name of vlan 10 is ccna name of vlan 20 is ccnp so vlan right okay now we need to create virtual interface and i will configure ip address on virtual interface that ip address will become default gateway for my end user am i right so ip address interface vlan 10 and then ip address will be 10.100 over here okay in the same way on interface vlan 20 i will configure ip 20.100 20.1.1.100 to 55.255.255.0 now this is my r1 configure terminal no ip routing and default gateway so by default r1 can't communicate with r3 and r4 because r3 and r4 are member of vlan 20 and r1 is member of vlan 10 but now with the help of svi r1 can communicate with r3 and r4 in the same way r3 can also communicate with r1 and r2 so on r2 also default gateway will be same 10. 100 what will be the default gateway on r3 20.100 right okay so sorry no ip routing then default gateway default gateway will be what 20.1.1.100 okay in the same way on r4 why i am running no ip routing command because this is router right default gateway default gateway will be 20.100 over here also okay now let me ping from r1 this is my r1 let me ping 10. Two first ping ten dot zero dot zero dot one is my own IP address. Okay, ten dot two. Yes, I am able to ping. Yes, success rate is eighty percent. Ping twenty dot one. Now, guys, see, am I able to ping? Yes, success rate is eighty percent. right because this is my first this was my first packet right
I am able to ping 20.2 as well. Let me trace route. Trace route 20.1.1.1. So, see the output. My traffic will reach to default gateway first, and my default gateway is 10.100, and then my traffic will reach to the user, to the end user. So, see, first of all, my traffic will go to 10.1.1.100 and then 20.1.1.1 okay so this is svi this is how you can create svi okay so guys last request if you like this video if you learn something from this video don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video okay we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe okay from r3 you can ping also 10.1.1.1 yes i am able to ping trace route 10.1.1.1 so it is taking some time right you can check it on gns3 as well or in eve you can configure and if you want to configure on real device then uh, you have to take access from any organization from any institute right you can uh, access my real device as well by paying some amount for that you have to pay some amount that's why i am not recommending you because you have if you have gns3 you have packet tracer you can practice there okay so that's all for today for this video on switch let me do something so ip interface brief you can see so ip add so ip interface brief exclude and assign you can use this command to filter the output okay so on vlan 10 you can see ip address is 10.100 on vlan 20 ip address is this one and if you want to check the series of router so you can see series of my router is C3750. This is Cisco switch. Okay. And you can read this information if you want to read. Mm, so running configuration. This is my running configuration. My iOS version is 12.2. So you can see over here VLAN 10, 20 name is CCNA. So okay guys then that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. We will meet soon in next video.